May 14, 2025. A seemingly ordinary day took an extraordinary turn. At 11.18 a.m. EDT, the Sun unleashed a powerful solar flare, classified as an X2.7 class event. This burst of energy erupted from a particularly active region on the Sun's surface, known as Sunspot Region AR4087. This region had been simmering with activity for days prior, hinting at the powerful forces at play beneath the solar surface. The flare was a stark reminder of the Sun's immense power and its potential impact on our technologically dependent world. The Sun, our life-giving star, is a constantly churning ball of plasma. It is not a calm and steady neighbor, but a dynamic and often unpredictable celestial body. Solar flares are a testament to this dynamism, bursts of energy that ripple across the vast gulf of space, sometimes reaching our planet, Earth. This particular flare, while not the most powerful in recorded history, was significant enough to cause noticeable disruptions to our technology-dependent world. It served as a wake-up call, a reminder of our planet's vulnerability to the sun's whims. The immediate impact of the X2.7 class solar flare was most evident in the radio waves that constantly crisscross our planet. High-frequency radio communications were significantly disrupted across various parts of the world. Europe, Asia, and the Middle East experienced the brunt of these disruptions, with some reports suggesting temporary blackouts in certain areas. These blackouts, though short-lived, served as a stark reminder of our reliance on vulnerable technologies. Imagine a world without radio communication, air traffic control systems in disarray, emergency services unable to coordinate, and the global network of data transfer grinding to a halt. While the May 14th flare did not cause such catastrophic disruptions, it provided a glimpse into a future where our technological infrastructure could be crippled by the sun's fury. The short-lived nature of these blackouts offered little comfort, serving instead as a stark warning of potential chaos in the face of a more powerful solar event. To understand the impact of solar flares, we must first understand their nature. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation originating from the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots. These sunspots are cooler, darker regions on the sun's surface that are associated with intense magnetic activity. Think of them as giant magnetic knots, containing energy that can be released with tremendous force. When these magnetic knots snap and realign, they release energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. This radiation includes X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which travel at the speed of light reaching Earth in a matter of minutes. Upon entering Earth's atmosphere, these high-energy particles interact with the atoms in our atmosphere, stripping them of electrons in a process called ionization. This ionization can disrupt radio communications, as the ionized particles interfere with the propagation of radio waves. Following the May 14th event, scientists kept a wary eye on sunspot region AR4087. This region remained active, crackling with energy and posing a continued threat for further solar flares. The unpredictable nature of sunspots makes them a constant source of anxiety for scientists tasked with predicting space weather. AR4087 served as a reminder that the sun's activity is not easily predictable, and even after a significant event, the threat can persist. Each new flare from AR4087 even if weaker than the X2.7 class event, sent a ripple of concern through the scientific community. It highlighted the need for constant vigilance and better predictive models to understand the behavior of these volatile regions on the Sun's surface. The continued activity of AR4087 was a constant reminder that our understanding of the Sun, while constantly improving, still has a long way to go. A History of Solar Fury the May 14th solar flare was not an isolated event. Our planet has, um, a long and tumultuous history with the sun's outbursts. One of the most famous examples is the Carrington event of 1859, the largest recorded solar storm in history. 
The Carrington event caused widespread telegraph system failures and auroras visible as far south as the Caribbean. It serves as a chilling reminder of the potential power of solar storms. More recently, in 2024, an X8.7 class solar flare caused significant disruptions to GPS and satellite communications, highlighting our increasing vulnerability in the 21st century. The 2024 event, while not as powerful as the Carrington event, demonstrated the potential for widespread disruption in our increasingly interconnected world. Each new event underscores the importance of understanding and preparing for the sun's volatile nature. Adding to the concern surrounding the May 14th event is the fact that we are currently approaching the peak of solar cycle 25. Solar cycles are approximately 11-year periods characterized by the waxing and waning of solar activity, including sunspots and solar flares. The peak of a solar cycle represents a period of heightened solar activity, making events like the May 14th flare more likely. As we move closer to the peak, predicted for late 2025, the likelihood of experiencing more frequent and more intense solar flares increases. This knowledge adds a sense of urgency to our efforts to understand and mitigate the risks associated with solar storms. The May 14th event may be a harbinger of things to come a taste of the potential disruptions we might face as Solar Cycle 25 reaches its peak. Thankfully, we are not facing this threat blindly. Organizations like NASA and NOAA constantly monitor the sun's activity, utilizing a fleet of spacecraft and ground-based observatories. These sentinels provide us with valuable data, allowing us to track solar flares, predict their potential impact, and issue timely warnings. Their work is crucial in our efforts to prepare for and mitigate the effects of solar storms. These agencies play a vital role in our increasingly technology-dependent world. Their constant vigilance and early warning systems provide us with crucial time to prepare for potential disruptions. The data they gather helps us to better understand the sun's behavior, improving our predictive models and allowing us to develop more effective mitigation strategies. While we cannot prevent solar flares, we can certainly take steps to minimize their impact. This includes designing more resilient infrastructure, particularly for critical systems like power grids and communication networks. Shielding satellites from the brunt of solar radiation is another important step. Public awareness campaigns can educate people about the potential risks and how to prepare for them. International cooperation is also paramount, as solar storms affect the entire planet. Sharing data, coordinating responses, and developing international standards for resilience will be crucial in mitigating the global impact of future solar events. The May 14th event served as a timely reminder that we are all in this together, and international collaboration is essential in facing this global challenge. The May 14th 2025. Solar flare was a stark reminder of the sun's power and our planet's vulnerability. As we become increasingly reliant on technology, the potential impact of solar storms only grows. The good news is that we are not powerless. By understanding the science, investing in research, and implementing mitigation strategies, we can minimize the disruption caused by these celestial events. The future may hold even more powerful solar storms than the one experienced on May 14th. But, with each event, we learn more, we adapt, and we build a more resilient future. The key lies in our willingness to heed the warnings whispered on the solar wind, to continue our exploration of the sun's mysteries, and to work together to protect our planet from the storms above.